Hi everyone, it's Tanil for the Sassy Scrappers design team and today I am back with another video showing you um, some projects I made with the Create Paper Fresh Bouquet collection and um, this is I think my third or fourth Fresh Bouquet project and I'm so happy with how um, this project actually turned out. Um, I decided to make some stationery packs to give to my pen pals but each of these stationery packs have their own bag toppers which I decorated um, using a die cut and lots and lots of fresh bouquet products. So I've got two sizes to show you today. I've got a larger one and a smaller one. So let me take you through each of these. So um, in each of these stationery packs, I've basically included some goodies, um, including chipboards, acetate pieces, some ephemera pieces, and little trinkets and, and cutter parts from the 12 by 12 cutter part sheet from Fresh Bouquet. And I think they're just a great little gift for my pen pals to use for journaling spots or to make their own tag flips, to decorate their own layouts. Um, they could do whatever they want with it but I think they're just such a great little gift to receive. I have shown in a previous video um, a project share of the sequins, fresh bouquet sequins um, mixes and decorated tins that I made. So in each of these packets I've just added a little, um, I guess a little handful of sequins that um, my pen pal can also use in their projects. So this one here is one of the smaller ones and I cut out the die using all, all of these are fresh bouquet um, paper, um, pattern paper bases. And I've just used some cardstock sticker there. That dream of flowers is also a cardstock sticker. That gorgeous love acetate pieces from the ephemera pack. And I just used some of my own jemmies, more chipboards and um, cardstock stickers there. And then I added a little bit of pom-pom trim just to give it even more dimension. I love how pretty that turned out. And so, so girly, so elegant, so intricate. And that's why I wanted to show some close-ups today because a lot of these are really, really intricate designs. And that's what I like about Fresh Bouquet. You can get very, very detailed with it. Lots of black and white elements in the collection as well. So my pen pal will be able to take one of these, pop off the uh, bag topper and use all the goodies inside. This is the other small one I have here. And I just, would you like some seaweed? Yeah, I can get you a seaweed snack. Go and sit down on the couch first and I'll get you some seaweed. This one I absolutely love because it turned out so pink. And I was a bit hesitant about using a large pom-pom trim, but I actually think it turned out so stunning. I loved the idea of using this big pom-pom trim to really make the project pop. And then I added a little pink sequins trim on top of that just to hide some of that fabric and give it a little bit more bling. And I've used lots and lots of fresh bouquet chipboards. Hang on. Hey girls, wait till I finish filming and I'll get you a snack. Hey. Uh, yeah, only if you don't interrupt me, okay? <laughs> um, and then there's that acetate there. And there's a little ticket hiding behind there, though you can't really see it. So they're pretty chunky and like who wouldn't want to receive something that pretty in the mail? So cute. And some more sequins mixed there. Combination of, uh-oh. I think the combination of pinks and yellows in this is just so pretty and you'll get lots and lots of acetate pieces in the ephemera pack and I just love adding acetate to all my projects. So I love how this one turned out. This one has some chipboards, I've added that gorgeous huge, you can't really see it but there's a big yellow floral ephemera that comes with this ephemera pack and my uh, pen pal will get it. That's really cute, I love how that one turned out. Okay, and then on to some of the larger stationery packs. So in the ephemera collection from a Fresh Bouquet, you'll get a waterfall packet. You'll get um, a packet of a larger, the larger pieces and then some smaller pieces. So I made a bigger bag. It's the same bag topper die I used, but you can see that that bag topper works for a small packet or a big packet. So you don't have to worry about it coming over the edge a little bit. It just adds a little bit more interest to um, the packaging. So that's fine. This one takes on a more green and neutral palette. It's very autumn, 
I think. Yeah, very autumn and winter feel, which is goes goes a bit against what's happening in Australia at the moment because we're about to enter spring. It's such a wonderful day in Sydney today. So I've added lots more larger pieces in this packet. There's a frame there. There's a little tag, all from the ephemera pack, right? Um, I'll show you the other ones where it's actually a cut apart. I think this one had cut aparts in it. And then you get that gorgeous acetate piece from um, the ephemera pack as well. And that one says priceless. I wanted also to show you that beautiful floral pattern paper from um, Fresh Bouquet. It's so pretty. It's It's got a green, deep green background with lots of pinks, mustard and blue flowers in it. And again, I've added some pom-pom trim there and I found a matching gemstone in my stash. So there's that one. Another very pretty pink number here. This one's a gorgeous cluster of ephemera that my pen pal's going to get pink notepad a little like pink note card sorry another sort of pink and white grid paper in the back which I think says Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday along the top there um, love how this one turned out very pink very gorgeous and I think fresh bouquet was meant to be a um, collection that you could use for your wedding and engagement scrapbooking and that's why there's lots of florals lots of butterflies lots of pastel pinks peach colors very neutral palette love that and that paper you can't really tell but it's this beautiful pink um, pattern paper with with gorgeous large white florals in it it's so pretty another very chunky one that one okay and the last one is this here um, this is a little bit more yellow than the others and I added a larger but not the largest pom-pom trim that's probably the larger one there largest one there um, again lots and lots of layers of flowers I love this paper as well it's like a mustard and pink floral pattern paper and this one's got tickets so what you do when you make a um, stationary pack is if you want to add chipboards to it which I strongly encourage you to because chipboards add a lot of layers to your projects is to just peel the sticky back off the chipboard before packaging it up um, that way your pen pal can just stick it on um, on whatever project he or she wants to use and it doesn't stick to everything obviously in your package so just a little tip if you ever want to send chipboards and yeah another cluster of fun things from the ephemera pack that I've added in here um, so yeah so this is a really good idea if you want to just whip something really quick or put together something really quick for your pen pals to play with um, fresh bouquet has a lot of um, ephemera bits journaling bits cards tags all the all those little goodies that you can just pull out divvy it up into little packages and design your own bag toppers uh, to add to the top it's a great way to send happy mail i hope you guys enjoy this project and i hope to see you back on here with a sassy scrapper design team with one more fresh bouquet project i'll see you all next weekend bye guys